Okay, so now we're going to be recording uh, our script using Audacity. So you've written a script, you've edited it, it's all ready to go, you've taken out all the stumbling words and things like that, you've rehearsed it, and uh, what you want to do is now actually record that so that then you can use that either just as a audio on its own, uh, as a podcast uh, or as a narration for a screen capture or a uh, PowerPoint video or both. So what we do to record that voice, your voice, is uh, use Audacity. And Audacity is this great tool that is free on the internet and the link is right below this video. So by clicking that link you'll arrive at this page hopefully. Uh, you can always just uh, do a search for Audacity and it'll come up right at the top and you'll be able to find this page. And here we have, you can either download um, the stable version or the, the beta version. I'm using the beta version and it's got some actually really important and really good little bells and whistles on it and so I highly recommend that you do the same. Download the beta version and um, to get started. So install it on your computer and then we'll configure the settings. Uh, once you start Audacity, this is what you're going to see here is uh, the Audacity uh, software. And uh, I've got a little picture here of some headphones. Um, there's a lot of debate and a lot of people talk about what kind of headphones and particularly what kind of microphone you should be using. The microphone that I'm using right now uh, as you're hearing this cost me $24. It's a headset just like the one you see here and I just got it in the local electronics um, shop and it's just fine and the main thing that's going to give you good sound are some of the things I'm going to tell you today in terms of uh, sound quality and um, uh, that's really all you got to wa worry about. You're going to be able to get ones that are uh, connect with a USB connector or a uh, a pin connector, one for the microphone and one for um, the, uh, the the headphones, the, so you can hear. Doesn't matter. Either headphones uh, should connect to your computer, either by USB or by the mini jacks. So um, and the quality, uh, I've used both, and I've never noticed a difference in the quality really. But uh, right now I'm using the one with the mini jacks, just in case you want to know. So uh, let's get started now that you have Audacity installed on your computer. This is what you see and what we want to do is configure some settings. So first of all we'll go up here to edit right down to preferences and here we go and we're going to go to quality and you want to set this drop down to 48,000 Hertz I'm going to set this one to 16-bit, which is the sample rate. And everything else should be set. You shouldn't have to worry about it. Okay. What I'm going to be doing is that I could spend a whole day telling you all the settings for this, but right out of the box, you can start recording with Audacity and you'll probably get fairly good results. I'm just going to be showing you a, f a few extra little improvements and really, I'm not going to explain to you what sample rates are and things like that. You can go and look those up yourself. What these videos are about is just saying, okay, we want to do this. We want to do it fast and at the highest quality. So just follow along, set the settings as I do, and you're going to get great results. All right, so the next one is uh, import and export. And you want this radio button checked. Make a copy of uncompressed audio files before editing. Safer. And this radio button checked. Uh, always mix all tracks down to stereo or mono channels. All right. And then the last one is in projects here. Uh, this radio button should be chosen. Always copy all audio files into project safest. Okay. And what this is basically doing is that with editing programs, be it uh, video or audio, um, oftentimes you're grabbing files from audio files, video files, image files from all over the place on your computer. And the particular software that you're using 
doesn't necessarily take all those files and go, okay, I'm going to put those all into the program now. Uh, what it does is that it leaves the files where they are and it grabs them and plays them as is necessary as, it's, as the software is running. And the problem is, is if you move one of those files or if your, um, your program gets, uh, your software gets confused, for example, if you were to put those files in your Dropbox or something, then it may say, hey, where did the files go? And suddenly you've been working on something and editing something and the file is gone. It's like the sound isn't there or the image isn't there or the video isn't there. And what this setting does is make sure that it actually copies all the files into the project and so you don't have that problem. And this is one of the things that's available on the beta version of Audacity and why I like to use it. Not available on the other one. So if you have the other one, uninstall it and get this new version of uh, Audacity, the beta version. Okay, so now we're ready to um, set some recording levels. And as you'll see also, I talk about this on the recording with Camtasia, is that you want your recording levels, which are up here. So I'm gonna just start a recording. So I hit record and as you can see, uh, there's my voice going bing 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 on this recording level so when I'm not talking or I'm talking really quiet it's not loud enough and then when I talk really loud it's way up there recording so a lot of you have experience I know of setting recording levels and things like that I'm sorry if this is boring but it's really important that you get this right in terms of the quality of your sound it's it's so important and so many videos these days just have horrible sound and this is the key reason why is because they haven't set the recording levels right now in audacity you want this chosen here as microphone and you set the recording level by moving this slider so if i move it up uh it's it's pushing the recording level way up too high and as you can see on the waveform it's actually telling me that it's distorting because the waveform there the little blue area here is going outside of the recording level so at where you want to set this is between minus 18 here and minus 6 between there now right now I got it too loud I'm hitting over minus 6 so I'm gonna bring that down a bit so that when I talk normally, oh, it's still hitting that minus six a little too often. I'm gonna bring it down some more. So that now I'm hitting right between minus 18 and minus six. And if there's a really loud sound, like a gunshot or something like that, and it goes over minus six, minus six, that's okay. But just for voice recording between minus 18 and minus six is where you wanna be. And you obviously want to try to keep your voice at a certain level. As you can see, it's still sometimes hitting above minus six there. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit more so that I can talk normally and not worry about it. And the rule of thumb, quite important, is that for recording, you want it to be lower rather than higher because a low recording is not distortion. If I do something that's, say something is too loud and it goes over, it goes and it can be really annoying and give away that, well, this is obviously horrible quality. So if you're a little bit worried about it, just bring it back even a little bit further so that you know that you will not distort your sound when you're recording. So we're looking good there. All right, so that's it for this video. The next video, we will begin recording our script. Very exciting. Okay, oh my God, that went over. I might have to reduce this further. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon in the next video.